Question number nine. Order. Order. Question number nine, Mike Saban. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Education. What recent announcements has she made on partnership schools? Honourable Hickey Parata. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Mr Tēnā Speaker, koe. today I was really pleased to join the Prime Minister and the Honourable John Banks, the Associate Minister of Education, in announcing five partnership schools kura haurua. They are the Rise Up Academy, Māngere East, South Auckland Middle School, South Auckland, Te Kura Haurua o Whangarei Terenga Parawa, Whangarei, Te Kura Haurua ki Whangaruru, Whangaruru, Northland, and Vanguard Military School, Albany, North Shore. I welcome these schools, Mr Speaker, as another model in our already diverse range of schooling options aimed at raising achievement for all our children and young people. And I thank all those who have contributed... Order. Order. I apologise for interrupting the Minister, but the level of interjection now is at a stage when I'm having trouble listening to the Minister. I apologise to the Minister. Mr Speaker, <laughs> and I should like to thank all those who have contributed so constructively to the process today. Unwilling as we are on this side of the House to condone the status quo of failure for a specific groups of children and young people. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Mike Saban. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister, how will partnership schools raise achievement? Oh, Honourable Hekia Parata. Mr Speaker. The schools will have greater freedom and flexibility to innovate and engage with their students in return for stronger accountability for improving educational outcomes. These schools will particularly focus on the children and young people who are not being successful in our mainstream system. Partnership schools Kura Haurua will be accountable to the government for raising achievement through a contract to deliver specific school level targets. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Robert Order. Speaker. I've called Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What proportion of those teaching in the approved partnership schools will be required to be registered teachers? Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, all five schools are going to be delivering the New Zealand curriculum and or Te Marautanga o Aotearoa. And in the delivery of the core curriculum, registered teachers will be delivering those. Together with, together with those who hold LATS that provide co-curricular uh, uh, activities, together with some who are not registered teachers, but who are skilled, for instance, in equine husbandry, defence force preparation, engineering, carving, and so forth. Okay. Point of order. Order. This is a point of order. Chris, point of order, Chris Hipkins. Point of order, Mr Speaker. There was actually a very specific, straightforward question asking her what percentage or what proportion of those teaching in partnership order. schools I, were required to be registered I, teachers. I heard the question. I think, to be fair to the Minister, it was actually difficult to hear the question because of the level of noise, particularly from the government side. Can I ask the member to repeat the question? Thank you, Mr Speaker. What proportion of those teaching in the approved partnership schools will be required to be registered teachers? Honourable Hickey Parata. M Mr Speaker, the, we have accepted contracts with the proposed sponsors and they are different across each of the schools. For the Rise of Academy, it will be 100% registered teachers. Um, for Te Kura Haurua or Te Ringa Parawa Ki Whangarei, it will be 79%. For the other three schools, it will depend on the division between core curriculum and Te Marautanga or Aotearoa and co-curricular activity. Point of order, Grant Robertson. Um, Mr Speaker, I appreciate the, the answer that the Minister gave there. Um, I'm, I, I'm struggling to understand why she was unable to give that answer to my colleague when he asked the order, question the order, first Order, that's time. not a point of order. I explained when I rose to, to accept an additional question, or a, a repeat of the question from your colleague Chris Hipkins, it was possibly because of the level of noise coming, it was difficult to hear the question. When the Minister heard the question, I think she made a very adequate response of the question. 
Question number 10, Eugenie Sage.